Daryl, congratulations. Absolute barnstormer of a game and you seem to thoroughly enjoy it. What is it about this place that brings the best out of you? Well, I wouldn't say the best. Like, I mean, uh, Ricky could have made it uh, two all there in sets and then fifth set, you don't know where it's going to go. But, um, yeah, I mean, I threw away the first set. He broke me in the first leg and then that 68 was horrific. And I should have had a look to see what he was on it. And I just thought I'd just take it out and then I'd done one of them things. I don't know, it was like a Jockey Wilson thing. But I uh, missed it. And then he went one nil up and then I just thought that through that first set, I felt like I was the better player. I was always getting a chance before him. So it was all about just maintaining my scoring. And I forgot I shot a double before him. Uh, hitting it instead of messing around. Don't start missing doubles and don't start giving them chances and belief that, you know, if he stays with me, I'm missing double, so he's going to take him out. So for me, uh, after the first year, it was all about doing the same again and uh, not missing doubles. At the end, we saw what it meant to you. It was a huge reaction. Was that relief more than anything? Yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't I haven't been under pressure uh, like that in ages. I mean, I was down in the practice room and uh, I always know my schedule. Practice here, relax, practice. And I, remember, I just... I was downstairs, I, I didn't know, it was, you know, I think it was my world, champ- first world championships. I just thought, oh, all right, okay, I'm just calm down, do your normal thing, and you're fine. And then eventually, and I came to ball, and um, I was playing, doing the ball, I went for, I was all right, have some laugh, and then he went ball, and I thought, and then he went 25, and then I went ball. All right, right, now I'm ready, now I'm ready, and then I knew I was ready, but then, but then, no, 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 listen, I've been, I've been practicing really hard, getting them between my ears sorted, and uh, it paid off at the end of it, because there's a, there's a dog there, and I probably would have missed him three darts at tops the the end that game 3-1 a couple of years ago. But uh, thankfully, this dog there, uh, had it in the end of the game 3-1. Talking of this dog there, you've seen real signs that Super Chin is getting back to that top eight player that we saw the players' championships and really good stuff. Only missing out to Ryan so the last eight decider. Obviously played some good stuff in spells here. How yeah. close is that barrel journey that was winning things and getting the top four away? Well, I feel like this dog journey is better. Um, I mean, if you look back at the averages, I haven't had as many 100 plus averages now than I did whenever I was uh, doing my best, probably in 2017, 2018. So I feel like I'm playing better now than I ever was, but the problem is the the standard and PDC has went so much more. Um, years ago, I, I think whenever I first started, you probably would have had 20, 32 professionals on the PDC. Now you've got probably 60 to 80. So people are dedicated all the time. They're uh, putting the time, the effort, the practice, and that's what makes it so much uh, so much harder. So uh, yeah, I've got to move with the times, got to improve. And uh, whenever I was like doing with James Wade, 96 average, but I wasn't as good as him finishing. Um, it was getting me through games, but I feel now I've got the scoring power, so I should be doing more uh, 10 plus uh, averages. Going back up that hill, getting ready for today. Think back to last year and what could have been in that, that Gezi game, one of the games in the tournament that didn't go your way, do you ever think, what if? No, I mean, I, I had a shot at that one away. Um, I didn't really get close to it. For me, Gizzy was the, the better player in that game anyway. Uh, I was never in front. And um, yeah, I, I think, all honestly, if I took out that 108, I think it would have been a very, very hard game to play against Bunton. Bunton was, uh, he was on fire in that semi final. And I feel like the semi final would have been harder in the final. But um, yeah, no, Gizzy, he, he was the deserved winner. Uh, I know I had that pop at a 108, was, couldn't, couldn't have a treble, but now he, he, his finishing was better than mine. My scoring kept me in the game at stages. Uh, he seemed to give me a 2-0, uh, he seemed to went up 2-0 and then I brought back a 2 all, and then it was another two sets to him and then I went six legs in a row. And then there was either a 103 or a 107 that got him back in the game whenever I missed a 143 or something. I'm not that old. I still remember stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, listen, he, he was the better player in that game. And he had three, he, had, he was sitting on tops. And for me, he needed to miss that for me to, to get a chance. So he was the deserved winner. Oh, Cheers, thanks. Cheers, Paul. Thanks. So when Ricky's going for that one for seven, that shot that got to the way through, just going through the mind, thinking about a, a lot of that. No, I missed a double. Just missed a double. Um, 
Yeah, no, listen, they... Yeah, I went over to went Travel Travel and he, he, he took out something else good too, didn't he? Whenever I was sitting on a double or something. 146, yeah. And I thought, oh, he's, he's going to get this. And then I was just kind of composing myself for the fifth set. And I was all right, you've got to throw. Don't start off with a stupid 60 or something, I guess. And then he missed it. And then I had the, opp- had the opportunity. But uh, yeah, no, uh, I was glad he missed it. And uh, I ended the game there and then. You said earlier about yeah you know no it was just, listen I've, I've never I've never went looking for help I, I'm not one of these uh, players uh, that needs to see somebody I know that um, from day one I've always helped myself uh, I've maybe asked a wee bit of advice uh, get Colin out at one stage which he really really helped me out that was more mentally just getting ready for stuff and um yeah no it's all about myself it's all about don't panic in the situation uh you know what you can do the way you've been practicing i, I feel like at the moment the way i'm practicing i quite possibly the one of the best players in the world practicing but you could be you could do that but if you're not taking off on that stage uh you're going to get a, a sore lesson whenever you play against whoever uh in the next round but um yeah no i've been just for me i've just focusing on, focus on myself uh, trying to get me uh, my rhythm back. Uh, my throw makes my life a lot easier once it's all together. And then after that, then it's just a way of putting the, the bits of the jigsaw together. Cheers.